Hey everyone, it's Leo Young here, and uh, yeah, 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 come on YouTube, step your game up. So back in early 2017, YouTubers were hit hard when big companies had decided to drop advertisement on YouTube. Now the issue was some governments had been notified that their advertisements are related or connected to violent, terroristic types of videos on YouTube, which is thus given the terrorist or whoever's posting the video income from those companies. Now, mainly in the UK, they were really against this. So the result was YouTube losing a large, like not YouTube, but YouTubers losing large chunks of income from companies such as Walmart, Starbucks, Honda, Johnson & Johnson, and many more walked. So to help better handle the situation, YouTube began cracking down on YouTubers, YouTube channels all over, setting more stricter guidelines um, on where can, the ads will be seen, where they're being flowed to, and so on and so forth. Now, this included placing channels on blacklists or automatically demonetizing or removing monetization from these videos before they were even uploaded to the platform. Uh, the loss in ads and increased control over the content was dubbed the apocalypse by very many um so that's like the brief history of what happened that's not like what's going all the way down with idubs and pewdiepie and game attack and all those other channels so for the next several months youtube slowly started to return to normal like they finally got like a good control over how ads not ads but like how youtube content was being monetized and where ads would be showing they added like new um new guidelines, new barriers such as a YouTube channel needs 10,000 views before it can actually monetize, so stuff like that. However, gaming channels all over were still dealt a bad hand due to their content normally showing violence through the video games that they play. So recently, YouTube tried a new initiative where YouTube gamers would be better off streaming like they would on Twitch, the live streaming platform over there. So it's now November 28th, 2018, and um, right as advertisements seem to be returning back to normal, like a video with probably 10,000 views, maybe not 10,000, I'm sorry, with 3,000 views, got $32, stuff like that. That's what I was seeing. When stuff like that started returning, another problem has just reared its ugly head and probably thrown us back into the Stone Ages. Uh, ad apocalypse would, would this be 3.0 or 2.0? I swear there was another issue that did arise during the ads. So. The only problem with this one is we could all be kind of screwed over because it involves children. Now, 10 days ago, YouTuber, or 11 days ago, YouTuber Philip DeFranco released a video discussing the exploitations of kids through the YouTube kids friendly algorithm to fool the system. What I mean by. So, it's now November 28th, and right as advertisement started returning back to normal, you know, a video with 3,000 views. $32, which is not bad, but it's not, you know, it's not there, but like, that's better than 100,000 views, $32, you know what I mean? So, a problem has kind of risen, and the it's going to definitely mess us up, but it seems to be focused over in another section of YouTube, because you see, 10 days ago, YouTuber Philip DeFranco had released a story, or started releasing, like, connected news stories discussing the exploitation of kids using the YouTube's kid-friendly algorithm to fool the system. Now, recently large brands have begun dropping from YouTube once again, Mars, Little, Dushi Bank, Adidas, and others. A uh, Little spokesman's person said, it is completely unacceptable that this content is available to view and it is, therefore, clear that the strict policies which Google has assured us were in place to tackle offensive content are ineffective. We have suspended all of our YouTube advertisement with immediate effect. So you're probably wondering, all right, I'm getting it. It involves kids. So what's so bad about it? So the issue stems from the YouTube's kids section, a section of YouTube tailored towards children, of course. Uh, many of the videos in YouTube Kids makes hundreds, if not millions, of views. Currently, the term for this is "quote unquote" Elsa Gate, referring to the popularity of Frozen and the reaction of the Spider-Man and Elsa videos. They were basically the catalyst. Now, channels such as Funny to Kids TV, Fun Kids Tunes, and Toy Scouter appear child-friendly in their names and thumbnails. However, if you were to dip into the videos and actually watch them for about 
10 minutes, you would l definitely see that some of the content within him is disturbing and could mentally hurt a child. Scar them if, the, if you want to be dramatic. So some of these videos depict children crying, supposedly peeing on themselves, people dying in horrific ways, and the list goes on, both in live action and animation. What's worse is if you read the comments down below, you will not find, oh, you will, but you will not see a large amount of parents or community uproar saying, oh, this is bad, but you find what could essentially be considered predatory comments, which is definitely not the, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to like, come out here and yell because people in the other room but it's, why why are you saying stuff like that whatever so after the news spread YouTube began cracking down on these channels banning both the YouTube video makers and the commenters who made these weird as remarks however there is a drawback you see when YouTube first started their incentive to help better control how the ads were Adpocalypse 1.0 basically they had started hitting every other channel. So let's say, um, uh, one example, let's say Game Grumps. They play video games, yes, they'll crack down on Game Grumps, but a channel such as Philip DeFranco, again, because he did the news, he would automatically be hit with these issues that YouTube would put in place because YouTube had these weird algorithms, just like they did a couple, uh, about a month ago when Casey Neistat started up that fun that fundraiser and his video was automatically demonetized because YouTube was like you cannot talk about this type of stuff we're going with it so that was the issue that's kind of where a lot of these issues did stem from so this is also happening again only problem is more harshly as DeFranco said in his recent video YouTube had to go harsh on the rest of YouTube around the apocalypse situation but your situation involves children. And that is where the story ends. And what I have to say about this is, YouTube, what the fuck are you doing? And not just YouTube. Like, I, 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 I talked about this on the way home. I thought about it. And I was just trying to find a way to say it. But it's like, this time you can't really say this is the YouTube content creator's fault. This time it really is YouTube's fault. Like, uh, no, no offense to YouTube, but think about it like this. When we all started, even we were affected because this channel started in October, so we did get hit by the apocalypse. All monetization was gone. When that all happened, we didn't have anything to do with it. All we did was random videos and stuff like that. So when YouTube was like, okay, we're going to start cracking down on big channels, small channels, medium channels, everybody got the shaft. YouTube Kids, on the other hand, was a little bit unaffected because YouTube had this idea, well, they're just showing kids videos and literally if you watch a bunch of youtubers a lot of the times you'll hear them all say oh we have to make kid friendly content which is apparently the only content that can get monetized youtube kids is well i, I was about to say 100 percent is mostly kid friendly content so all of that stuff was being monetized youtube had their eyes over all of this domain they're not looking at this one section which is literally right under them they decide to go oh, yeah, you're just kids where are those achievement hunters at? Where are the PewDiePies at? Where are the game theorists? The tree sickles? Where are they at? So, and even now they're still kind of affected, but this is just worse because now Mars, if you don't know who Mars is, they're a company who owns so much. They do Snickers. Oh, plus the HP dropped out. There, you can literally look at the, the link down below where all the sources, all the brands that are gone now. Mars has such a like imagine if Nike just dropped done done Nike's gone all right there goes there goes a large amount of um, income for sports channels Mars is capable of touching pretty much almost any other channel they touch stuff like Snickers I think I already said that candies uh, goodies all the fun treats for the kids and this happens this just wipes the slate clean so Really, I know that YouTube is trying, all right? The head of YouTube Kids is saying we're cracking down harder. We're definitely banning channels right off the bat. The only problem is a lot of other channels are, who are kid-friendly in a way, they are, are also affected because they're in that general area. YouTube's keeping a close eye on them. However, there are channels like iDubs that 
are still for some strange reason being affected though I know this is definitely not kid friendly so I I don't know where this is going but at least YouTube is taking the step to deal with it only problem is YouTube you can't just stop at that once you're done with it you can't just stop you have to keep it going the weird thing I want to say about this is while the apocalypse did happen it did create like a sense of a uh, um, responsibility within the YouTube community at least we now see it's like huh okay we shouldn't post stuff like that we're not going to be sensitive but we're not going to be jerks about it so all the content we're, we're no longer uh, what's the word being monetized all the negative content so that stuff is swept under the rug views doesn't matter just pushed over there content that is uh, I guess ad friendly you want to say it that is coming back that is friendly that's great that's helpful YouTube is a great platform just for creators to come out and express themselves but YouTube I'm sorry I'm getting off track you can't just stop like us with us everybody who's not the kid friendly we have our content we at least know how to tailor it to a point where at least it's safe or acceptable for your algorithm to show out without demonetizing 100% of the videos we let out that week so and as a person who doesn't even have 10,000 views on this channel demonetization monetization it really doesn't matter for me but YouTube is still like the fact that they're now jumping on this whole weird crap that's going on with YouTube kids is a bit of an issue anyways I, I, I think I've overstepped my bounds here a few places so I'm just gonna stop right there I'm gonna put the links down to the sources below if you wanna see more please hit the subscribe button to get access to our notification gong if you wanna support the channel like comment subscribe share with your friends and family do whatever you feel like doing but please the love of God if you see one of these weirdos in YouTube kids because a lot of the channels were deleted if you go into one of those comments and you see them please flag them down Contact you. Step. Tell someone. Be like, hey, there's something not right about this comment. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. Once again, I'm Leo Young. Stay impressive, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm.